Hi everyone, welcome back to Sonic and the Side Quests. Uh, this is a two-day event focused on the Sonic the Hedgehog series and the speedrun categories that involve doing more than just beating the game. We're collecting Chaos Emeralds, Emblems, Magic Doohickeys, and, you know, overall creating a good future for everyone with the Sonic speedrun community at the helm of all the action. So we've got Risudo here with uh, Sonic R, and this is going to be the 100% no out of bounds category. So uh, you get to see the tracks in all their glory and uh, hopefully hear the music for a little bit longer than an out of bounds uh, run would. But uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to keep it, uh, keep you all any longer. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to our runner and commentator uh, to introduce themselves. All right, thank you so much, Amber. So my name's Reese Rue. I'm gonna run Sonic R today. I heard that there was some Knuckles smack talk earlier and I do not appreciate that. Like, I'm so sad. So I will manifest the Echidna. This is now Knuckles and the shine, or the side quests and Knuckles. So uh, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do our best here. We're gonna be using Knuckles a lot in this run too. Um, whoops. So, um, yeah, I've been playing this game casually for about 20 years, and uh, it's only been within the last maybe year and a half that I decided to go ahead and speedrun it. So um, I would like to introduce my uh, co-commentator here. Uh, Sheep, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Silver Sheep. I, uh, I am a Sonic appreciator, but not a player. Uh, I have taken in all Sonic media secondhand. So all of my comments are completely irrelevant, but also important. I'm sorry, I couldn't do the glove bit long enough. Like, <laughs> it's Did, too much. You needed That's enough like to carpal channel, tunnel percent. You had to channel Knuckles. We have to bring in the right. energy. Yes, all right. So first, I want to make sure that my weather is set to snow. Um, if you have ever played the Saturn version, weather is not an option. Um, you don't actually have the ability to modify the weather at all. You just kind of, I think everything's clear and sunny and blue skies. I don't think there's any like randomness there. So uh, we're also gonna pick Knuckles because he is the best. Um, no, actually he has better handling. Um, but uh, so this is 100% this is no out of bounds. I'm gonna do my best to stay inside the track while collecting everything. And Sheep will help me um, kind of explain things along the way because there are some parts here that make me very nervous. So <laughs> countdown, oops, I literally went to hit my hotkey for like live split. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's go. No, we're good. All right, uh, it's after I hit a on little resort island here. All right, so three, two, one, go. All right, so while Risuru is doing the beginning part that she's afraid of, I'll talk a little bit about what we have to collect in order to reach 100% in this game. So every stage has uh, a number of Chaos Emeralds we have to pick up and Sonic Coins that we have to collect too. And the tip, the, uh, the, the kicker for it is we have to collect all of those and get first place, not just because we want to go fast as speedrunners, but because the game demands that we go fast. Uh, so this course has... Uh, yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Okay. No, go. You're the you're uh, okay. the runner. I'm just okay. here to make noise you, in the You're background. right, yeah. <laughs> so um, when you get the Sonic tokens, I've already passed the scary part. We're good now. Um, <laughs> the Sonic tokens, those will permit the player to uh, challenge an unlockable character. And in order to get that privilege, you just have to place at least third. But in order to keep, oh no, bonks, uh, to keep the Chaos Emeralds, you have to come in first. So just to make sure everybody's happy, I just have to come in first every time. No pressure. Nothing like that. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, so coming up towards the end here, um, ring collection is going to be um, very important, mostly because, oh no, mostly because we have to spend them to get the Chaos Emeralds. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Emblem. I'm good though. Amy, Amy's <gasps> always in last place, so. <laughs> but we good. All right little snafu there. So this is our first challenge character. This is good old Metal Sonic, or as I call him, the boy. Um, <laughs> I enjoy Metal Sonic. Look at him working out. Um, was that was that a reference to a song later on? Maybe. <laughs> Laugh at my joke, sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this is this is the first challenge race. What's kind of nice about these, if you're ever 
possibly interested in running Sonic R. Um, all of the challenge races follow the same routing for the any percent no out of bounds category. So um, I definitely recommend starting there first. Uh, Pete Dore actually has a really, really nice uh, tutorial kind of covering all of that. It is a little bit dated at the moment because we do now have this uh, movement mechanic known as counter drifting, which tricks the game into thinking you're in a drift like all the time and that gives you more speed. So that does change things a little bit, but nonetheless, the routing still stays pretty uh, consistent there. Um, so definitely do that. Here's our funny little splash screen. You got Chaos Emeralds. You know you did, you did well. <laughs> I did it. Um, if you don't get the Chaos Emerald, if you don't place in first, it actually, the Emerald will fall and it'll say no Chaos Emeralds. Um, so that's why that's there. And then the parentheses is there because only Resort Island has one Chaos Emerald because there's seven Chaos Emeralds, four stages. They're like, how are we going to divide all of this up? And they're like, we'll give two to everybody. And I guess the first stage can have one, right? It works. Uh, but now we're living in the city. So did you explain why you turn on snow? I did not explain why I turned on snow. I was like, snow's important, I'll tell you why. Um, so, as you can see, with snow, uh, the water now becomes frozen and I can walk over it. So um, that really opens up the doors for a lot of different faster routing. Um, if you don't have snow on, uh, I will make contact with the water, immediately sink, and my speed is so slow. <laughs> it is bad. So. Um, snow, snowy weather is good. We like, we like the snow here. If you're running, um, like any percent or any categories that are like, yeah, if you want to clip out of bounds, by all means, friend, um, you don't actually want the snow on because this actually changes a lot of the collision within the game. Um, so a lot of the clips that you would typically do in those any percent, uh, or hundred percent categories with clips, uh, those will not work. So you have to have any weather that isn't snow and you're good. And now, oh. I actually recently just started playing the Any% percent category. It is so silly. What's the, uh, so the runtime for the Any% percent? Any% percent world record um, in game time, it's like three minutes. And then like uh, RTA is like five something. It's, it's bananas. Shout out to Dill. <laughs> um, so I, I didn't miss the Chaos Emerald. I'm so happy. Oh my God, did you see, did you see that? Uh, you want to talk Eggman about just it? Shot me. <laughs> Eggman just shot me. I choose violence. He woke up today and chose violence. <laughs> this is my son. <laughs> he won't choose violence. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. This is also a pretty good time to talk about uh, rubber banding. Um, someone once asked me, they're like, oh, how do you speed run a racing game? And the answer is, I forgot this is a racing game. <laughs> um, so this, yeah, it's, it's a lot of like platforming too and just like making sure you're going in the right directions. But uh, rubber banding or like um, the CPU difficulty, how they catch up to you and such. If you do like super well, it just kind of breaks. So um, especially here, I highly encourage chat and viewers to look at the mini map display in my bottom right hand corner. Check out that little orange dot, that's Tails doll. He'll probably come out of bounds. We're gonna pass him up here. He's literally gonna like smash his face into the gate. I don't know what he's doing there. He's his best, clearly, yeah. He's just, he's just over he's there. He's vibing. It's just, there you know, goes. on he's the course. Vibing. vibing. <laughs> on the course. Yeah, he's, he's here to have um, a good time and he's going to have it no matter where you are. He is. He's. Oh, he's I so think pure. I saw him jump go. What? Did he just? Did he just like use chaos control? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. On the sly. On the sly. Good. All right. All right. Um, so one thing I also forgot to mention. This is a cutscene skip. This is not very important if you're doing legitimate runs because we use IGT now. But for the sake of a marathon, this saves about eight seconds per race. So that is a very nice time save. Um, so now we're heading over to Regal Rune. Nice little fun place. This one has a lot of water. You know, I have to be completely honest and say that I didn't know that was water for the longest time, because I think the only time I've ever watched this game has been you playing it on snow settings. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just, you know, it's just, 
it's just the dance floor, you know. The white powder in the sky is glitter. I don't know. All right, so that's bad RNG. Oh, we didn't talk about RNG. Yeah, so did how we? does the RNG work, Barry Suru? That's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> we suspect it is um, frame based. So, like, is huh, in Reactive Factory later on, there is one item little box. So, there's like no item boxes. These little, like, blue fun guys there. Uh, I run through those and pray that I get rings or anything that isn't a bubble shield or zappy shield or speedy shoes. Um, ideally, if we could get 20 rings every time, that would be super poggers. But uh, sometimes that doesn't always happen, so we have to cross our fingers. Um, but we do believe it might be frame-based. So based on the frame, you can possibly predict the RNG in, Rea Hello. in Reactive Factory. Um, every time I go through the first item box, it's either 20 rings or five, and that's almost always what it is. Um, additionally, like, in other racing games like Mario Kart, you do have kind of like, um, based on your placement, that will determine the kind of items you get. Um, but, I don't know, I, I thoroughly believe that this game can be pushed even further. We just need, we just need the people to come and break this more than it already is. You just Please. need to lead the charge on breaking Sonic R. <laughs> I need a better computer first. Yeah. I need my I need my Giga Chad PC. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I did that. So, so in this one, um, the any percent route here, the challenge race, we actually kind of want like 10 or 12. Well, okay, like 15 or 16. I tend to do better with like 12 or 13 for this. So the zip line that you use here, so this little thing up up, up here, you take it and it propels you forward. But It'll take you all the way around the track, around that little pond there, and it's actually faster to just spit out after the wall and then just cut inward and go over to the finish line. Um, I believe Kevridge found that, which was Mr. Egg Robo. Uh, that was pretty cool. I think he's gonna shoot too. Oh my god, okay. Listen, 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 listen. I'm listening, I'm waiting. I'm so upset with him. <laughs> he is the only, only thing I'm afraid of in this entire game. Tails doll, like, he's fine. Egg Robo. I mean, Egg Robo always has, like, a vendetta against Knuckles, right? You wouldn't know. You don't play Sonic. <laughs> I'm switching characters. Metal Sonic does a little bit better in Reactive Factory. Um, his maneuvering, or his handling is also um, pretty comparable to Knuckles. His top speed is also about uh, just a little bit better. I'm gonna bonk there, but... Um, corners especially there's my five um so this is this is the only part oh my god oh my gosh this is gonna be a very violent run i'm sorry <laughs> so you woke this up today and chose this violence this is supposed to be a family friendly event <laughs> and he's just like nah man i choose gun i hate him so much <laughs> So, I'm so upset with him. I'm not talking to him. I'm ghosting him. Well, while you ghost Egg Robo, do you want to talk about what's special about this stage in particular? It's very expensive. <laughs> so in this stage, Risuru has to pass a number of gates uh, in order to collect all her emeralds and uh, Sonic coins. And of all the stages, this one costs the most rings to use. So in order to obtain the two Chaos Emeralds, Rudy Suru needs uh, 50 rings to open each of their gates, and then an additional 20 rings to open the gate hiding the last Sonic coin. She has made it yes. very apparent that this is the most expensive stage to me. What's kind of nice is I can do all of that stuff on the last lap, and um, you actually do, rings do slowly increase your top speed. So the more rings you have, the better, the faster you are going to go. It's kind of hard to see this, like if you're consistently like spending rings and using them on the zip lines and stuff like that. But um, sometimes like your ring count will make or break a PB. Um, so you just gotta cross your fingers every time you run through those little things. I have, I have a lot of rings. I have a lot of rings. Is that tail still coming in four? Mr. Oh, I don't know where he's going now. So can right. we, can we... We have succeeded. Good. Ooh, can the we, scariest part is over. Can we discuss, though, <laughs> that when they conceived Sonic R, someone just decided that it was time to go 3,000% on the OST? 
Yes. Like. There is absolutely. This soundtrack has no business being as good as it is. You know what else? I was watching the Sonic Rush run earlier and that, that has a pretty banging soundtrack. I, well, I was like, gonna hello. say, as someone who doesn't play Sonic games that often, you know, that's the one common denominator though, is that the music is always good, but like, it's so Sonic good. Sonic R had no reason to go as hard as it did. It says Eurobeats and fax machines. Do you hear it? You hear my fax machine? As I drift in here, just drifting through the nineties. Drifting through. Drifting through. Initial D has Initial nothing D. on the Sonic R soundtrack. Oh, I don't know. I would fight that. <laughs> <laughs> I would fight that. I'm gonna have to watch Night my back fire, though. for saying that. But chat, what is your favorite track on the Sonic R soundtrack? We might have started like a war, but... Oh, Mil Mr. Metal time. Knuckles, Mr. Metal Knuckles. I miss my Zippy, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, so this is Mecha Knuckles. He is only in this game and that is a crime. This is the most like underused, amazing character. And I think he's trapped in this game. Hashtag free Mecha Knuckles. So what was the hardest right, trick for you to I, learn, Mr. The hardest trick for this, ooh, mm -hmm. uh, whoops. Look at it, it's the shiny boy. That's a great question. Um, for this category, um, probably just the routing and figuring out the best ways for me personally to pick up everything. Um, but I also run the any percent, no out of bounds, and there is a trick that you use in uh, Radiant Emerald here. Oh, by the way, quick aside, this is the only time we're gonna hear supersonic racing because you only get it when you play as supersonic on this stage. Everybody else, everybody else gets Diamond in the Sky, which is also good, but it does not, it's not hit as hard. Um, uh, there's something called uh, Helix Skip or Diamond Skip, and it involves a gliding character, so we usually use Knuckles. Um, and uh, you basically like jump and you, there's a little ledge above me right here. You, you fly onto that ledge and it skips like a good maybe fifth of the stage. I will say the, the chat you, seems to agree cool. on the correct song choice that Supersonic Racing is the ultimate good. track. Oh, okay, I'm so happy. Yeah, this is the only track. So like, <laughs> my mom, bless her soul. She, she always knows that I love Sonic and uh, they got me this game on PC. Um, God, like 20 years ago. Um, and this is the only song she knows. So like most people, they're like, oh, Sonic, haha, Green Hill Zone. No, my mom is always like, everybody's super Sonic racing. I'm like, thanks mom. But see how, that's how- There's my son. We're catching up there. That's how I go. weed out like posers from real Sonic fans. You go up and whisper super Sonic racing. And if they whisper back, everybody's racing, then I know we're fine. Now, then I know we can talk. <laughs> yeah. Rubber banding's been okay here. Cause sometimes I've had Tails doll come at me head on at like 90 miles per hour. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm on the last lap. And just like that, your time run will be, is finished. Oh, hold on, time is gonna be, time is gonna be after I cross the finish line. Then we get to see the little celebratory, like, yeah, you did it. I'm gonna do the thing. Okay. Time! Did we... Woo! Hey! Look at, it. Look at my son, he is deflated. <laughs> <laughs> He's so flat. Moment of silence for your son. Moment of silence for Tails doll. <laughs> EG it. there. Thank you so much. Gosh, there's our 100% you did it screen. It's super cute. Amy got out of her car to do it. Thank you for Ah, uh, look at that Yay. good old 90s wallpaper. <laughs> Someone probably has that as their desktop wallpaper, like. I mean, who wouldn't? I absolutely yeah. have it in a rotation on. Good. On Excellent. My... I was gonna say, I just shut my monitor off to hide my shame. <sighs> no, you're fine. It's fine. Good. Yeah, I have so. Absolutely no shame. <laughs> that's it. That's on a car 100%. If you're wondering, hey, um, I think I saw a big X over Eggman. Um, you were right, but after we get a credits roll, that's how you unlock Eggman. So I promise he's there. Um, I could show you Eggman if you want. You can actually skip the credits in this one. <gasps> Holding start in A. Sacrilege, I know. Goodness. Yes, Traveler's Tales did this. 
<laughs> Traveler's Tales also did Sonic 3D. Plus, they which did. I don't think you run that a lot, well. don't you? I do. <laughs> I mostly run events right now, but like. My main speed game is still considered 3D Blast, and nice. it's what most people know me for these days. There he is. I'm dechattering my inner Eggman. Look at him. He's so happy. All right. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Sheep, for commentating for thank me. Thank you that for was having a lot me, too. Um, yeah, and um, I hope I did Knuckles justice for all of you, because I, I love that boy. I do. <laughs> um, I believe Hashtag Protosonic. Justice for Knuckles. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Protosonic is next with Knuckles Chaotix. <laughs> yeah, more speaking Knuckles. of more Knuckles, well, it's more like Charmy Chaotix because Charmy's what we usually use throughout that run, but Shoot, you get to see Knuckles and Espio very briefly at the beginning of the game, so <laughs> yeah. I will cherish those moments. It counts. All right. Okay, well, thanks so much. Thank you, GDQ. Thank you, every runner, sheep, Amber. Um, have a lovely rest of the day and good luck for everybody else. We'll see ya. Absolutely. All we'll right. be right back uh, after a quick break. Uh, we're gonna load up uh, Knuckles Chaotix. Uh, tr not, fully not Charmy Chaotix. Uh, are y'all ready to collect some Fruit Loops? Hope you are. It's, it's going to be breakfast time in just a few minutes, so we'll be right back after this break.